Hey y'all, welcome back to another edition of Eats with Fifi. What we're doing today is we are going to do a seafood bowl for cheap. So let me show you what I have. I've got two pieces of corn, I've got one egg, and this is my pot um, that I cook my fish stew in. So this will be my third time using this. Um, so I'm going to fill it up with water, get it boiling, and then I'll come back and show you the prices and what I purchased, okay? And guess what? We got live crawfish. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll be back. Let me get this pot boiling. Oh, hold on, y'all. All right, y'all. Let me show you what I got. I got some um, small head-on shrimp. No. I got some head-on jumbo shrimp, and I paid $1.19 for two of them bad boys. Is that upside down? $1.19. And let me show you what them bad boys look like. So I got two of these. You see that big boy? Yeah, big boy. And then I got 45 cents. 45 cents, y'all, for four small head-on shrimp. Let me show you what those look like. I put them in the same container. Okay. See? So four of those and two of those. And then I got... Some, the blue crab that I have left over. If you notice, I've made a couple of videos. And so this would be my fourth time using some of these. And I just typically get two or three blue crabs out of there. And I think this one has... Okay. So this one has one and some claws. So about one and a half blue crabs. And then, so I would say this is about $2. And then once this brings to boil, then I'll be able to add all that to it. But not yet. So, ooh, right here, I didn't show you this. This crawfish, live crawfish, they are soaking in salt water so they can purge. And let me show you the price on that. So for um, two-thirds of a pound, so less than a pound, y'all, I got $1.76. So seafood bowls don't have to be expensive, you guys. So this is what, $1.76, $1.76. So we're like six bucks so far. That's it. And I already had the corn and the egg at the house. So let me get this. It's warming up. And then here, you guys, I got my chicken. I'm going to eat that because this is going to have to soak. So um, I'm going to get this started. And then uh, I'll bring you guys back, okay? All right, y'all. We're just waiting for that to boil. And in the meantime, hold on. Get the hot sauce. Hot sauce. In the meantime, y'all, I got some churches check on. Let me see. Yep, y'all. So we, we're cooking a seafood bowl and I'm eating church's chicken. I don't have a whole lot, you guys. What I did was I went to church's chicken after work and I got a uh, five-piece chicken. I think it's chicken and biscuits off in there. And then I got uh, me a three wings and it came with two sides, so I got double coleslaw. And so what I'm going to make for the boys, for the little adults, I'm going to make um, them some chicken tacos. So I'm going to take the chicken and I'm going to take some turkey. I might film that. I'm a griddle. Um, and I'm going to top it with the coleslaw. Or one of the coleslaws. So. Juicy. Here's my. Got to get some honey on this, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. So, can y'all see that? So, I'm just going to eat, and then um, hopefully, this, this is boiling. It's not to a rapid boil where I want it yet. 
And when it gets, uh, I'm just going to eat. And when it's ready, then I'm going to put, show y'all me putting that in the sides. The, um, I got the, actually those are prawns, head on prawns. And I got some head on shrimp. And I got some crawfish. And I got um, the left, the, the rest of the blue crab that I have. I'm, and right in here right now is corn. Oh, I got some asparagus I got to put off in here. Corn and three baby potatoes and an egg. So, but I'm going to eat while that's uh, going. Put a dab of that on it. A dab of that on it. I forgot how good the original recipe is. And in my rice cooker, y'all, I got some uh those gizzards, those are gizzards, chicken gizzards. I put um chicken gizzard, a chicken bouillon, and water. <clears throat> and once they become tender, I'll drain the water. And put creamy mushroom on top. And make some rice. Bad idea to microwave the biscuits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is just my lemon berry and water. So what is y'all doing? Did y'all grab something to eat with me? So I got two coleslaws. One I'm gonna use for the boys' burritos. Not burritos, but uh, tacos. Unless they want burritos.
Yeah, and came to a boil. Alright, hold on. Let me get my tongs and stuff in. So put it together. Okay. Alright, y'all. So, let me show you what I got. I got these crawfish. And they are very much so alive. See that big boy right there? Okay, so we got them big boys in there. Blue crab. Yeah, when you get the blue crab frozen, they have tendency to fall apart. Get legs and all in there. Alright. So, what we're going to do, once these get good and boiled, then we'll be able to add these. But we'll have to add these at, we'll have to add these at the end and then turn them off. So, I'm going to put this back on. And the only thing I put off in there was the uh, crab oil from uh, Zatarain's. So, hold on, y'all. This is the Zatarain's crab oil that makes that such pour some up in there. Y'all, that is it. That is all. So, we just got to wait. The shrimp, you got to be careful with the shrimp because you don't want to overcook them. Let that boil while I'm finishing eating. Mm -mm -mm. That is it. I typically cook, cook uh, multiple meals. At one time. I might mukbang that um, smother gizzards. Depending on how tired I am. Because I eat throughout the night too. According to this bag, you let it soak in there for 15 20 minutes. But what we're going to do is, once we get everything cooked, then we, we're going to rinse it off. Actually, you know what? I'm going to pull all that uh, water off. I'm going to put these in, then I'm immediately dump the water off. Then I'm going to make a butter sauce. Then I'm going to buck mug it. Mm-mm. 
See, I already know it's in the background. That's my rice cooker. You can cook anything in that thing. I cooked some oxtails last night. I had three massive oxtails. Well, to me, they were big. Good boy. Anybody who's want to know, this is how easy seafood bowls are. He's boiled in a little seasoning. If you don't want to use this, because it can't be spicy, stick you a couple of chicken bouillons off in there. That's it. And dump your water off. Make your butter sauce or lemon sauce or um, mayo-based sauce, whatever you want to make. It's that easy. <clears throat> so the key thing when you get um, fresh crawfish, make sure you put them in some salt water. So they can purge. I mean, they'll do a lot of pooping and throwing up. Clean out the main line. But, I see that. <clears throat> Done. I guess we can just go ahead and is it a big boy? Just head on shrimp, y'all. So I'll put them in there. And we're actually going to turn this down. To warm. And, uh, because we don't want our shrimp to, uh, overcook. Football one on one with Fifi. If you made it this far, drop me five black hearts. All right, till mukbang time. Bye.